I would put Yoda, even money that she beats him when she busts out of a tournament, to the door. Usain Bolt versus Yoda from the tournament area to the door after Yoda busts out. Yoda's going to win that race. <laughs> oh man Yoda yeah she'd be a favorite she'd be a favorite in that sprint I mean she knows the lay of the land four it's ways to, to a flop two players still standing here seven high flop and the eights the over pair for Bookie Wonder when Big Daddy Chaz will enter chat. We've seen Yoda now. Now we need our second missing soldier. T1000 bets 250. He's still standing. What is Bookie going to do? Still has players behind, but they have already checked their option. Sitting on the button with an over pair eight, taking a lot of time, deciding between. Razor call, I'd imagine. You can't be folding the eights here. And he's going to put in a bet right away. Or not. Carving out some raising chips, stalling a little bit here. And T1000 plays very aggressively. And he might think that his sevens are good here. Backdoor spades. He also has the straight draw. This might be good enough for a rip. And it is. And after seeing how much Bookie tanked there on the flop, don't think Bookie wants to play for 28-25. And now he might lay down those eights, and this jam might work with only 36% equity. Just announced that he had pocket eights. Pocket eights and a side. Pocket eights. Glad me. That's exactly what I'm doing, Rick. You're leaving at 4.30, though. It's rush hour. Bookie. Way ahead here with his snowman. Yeah, he's, gonna lay, he's probably going to lay it down, though. He's talking himself into a fold. Is that 3,000? What do you think, Rick? Book you going to find a call here? I mean, so many draws. It's a stand-up game. There's only two players remaining. T-1000 could be doing this light just to not pay the tax. Eights are too good here to be laying down. Got to put in the call, Bookie, and you're going to be very, very disappointed when you see the pair of sevens if you do indeed lay it down because T-1000 has to show in order to sit down. One of the biggest hands of the afternoon so far. And it always happens in the stand-up game. Lays it down. That's it. It's got a few openings here uh, in December. I'll tell you about the schedule that we're planning for in December. But there are a few openings. So if you want to get here or you want to just shoot for next year, start the conversation with Skull Mike. Three ways to a flop as we come just past the second hour of our stream today. 10 10 9, and there's a boat for Bookie. Flop boats are just so delicious. Open in a straight draw for T1000, and it goes check all the way around. Ace now for E fan. Somebody's going to have to put some money in this pot. And it goes check all the way around. you got to put some money in there. There's the straight, though, for T1000. Not a great card for him. 
E-Fan's going to fire out. Horrible card for T-1000. He thinks he just binked the straight. Well, he know he, he did bink the straight, but he thinks he won. And Bookie had this from the get-go. Danger. Raise incoming. Efan bet 150. Raised to 575, and Bookie is licking his chops. Saying, I flopped a boat. 1,200. And he makes it 1,200. Three bets to 1,200. Efan quickly gets out of the way. What does T1000 do here? Says a boat is possible. Can T one thousand get away from this? One if he calls, two if he folds. What do you think, chat? One if he calls, two if he folds. In the blender. Not a word is being said on this table. Thinking about laying this down. Man, he's bullying you like crazy, man. What the fuck, man? <laughs> <laughs> Lots of ones. Shows his straight. Wow. And that's lays it big. down. That's, a, that, that's you, big hand. Wow. Not sure at all. T1000 yeah. with K9 Wolf suited. Raises the 60. Pookie cardinal. comes along. Yeah, they're underdogs. Tuco and Azir yeah. wakes up with the, the jiggies. Yeah. At home? Three bets, 265. No, I doubt it. No. They've got to be favorite. No, they're yeah. 2.5. They are favorite. They're plus 2.5. Plus Wait, 2 .5. they're two and a half point dogs? Why? Is Kyler Murray not playing? He's playing. Oh, that seems like a weird line. Wing looks terrible. Plus two and a half? Yeah, I'd probably take Arizona on that. It yeah. seems like at home. 65. Hopkins is playing. Although I haven't really watched the Cardinals a whole lot this year. Maybe they're not as good as I thought they were. Yeah, they are not good. But yeah. but the Patriots have not played well yeah, either. Works. Patriots offense has been yeah, so bad. It's like every to. single pass is a four and a half. They, they don't go the downfield at over. all. We're going to see a flop. Heads up. Tuco and Azir versus T-1000. The Jiggities versus K-9. There's a nine. That's going to hurt T-1000 here. Flop's top pair. Decent kicker. And Tuco and Azir just checks with the jiggities. T1000, that's 175, and here's a raise. Warning lights. Hard work. Just put black, man. I like to play with the minor chips. <laughs> so much hard work. Yeah. Do Exercise. Work. Exercise. Raise. It looks like 685. 710. That's my boy. Much? Oh. Oh. Uh, <laughs> let's wait till the hand is over, yeah? That doesn't affect JC, don't worry about it. Oh. <laughs> T one thousand makes the call. It's a diamond. Six of diamonds. It's 
Still not the worst board for T1000. Flopping top pair. All in moment here for Tuco and Azir for 33.50. T1000 asking for a count. You see what he needs. He's got five outs looking for a king or a nine. What? Why are you playing so short, time? This board, oh. not the worst. I lose too much. For King Nine. Ooh, I never do. I, I um, saw you yeah. Saturday. Top you paired. K. Very uh, good kicker. Yeah. I'll leave on bad beats. I have to, I have to keep out of. Not feel, bad I was beats. feeling yeah. very unconfident today. What? When I walked walk to the table, I was not feeling good about it. Hey, I, both I, both you, of you have been playing much differently than you normally play. I, I, I just, as soon as I sat down, I was like, this is not going to be a good day for me. I don't feel good. And sometimes when you don't feel good, like, it just manifests itself in your play. If you don't feel like confident and feeling like, I just didn't feel confident. I didn't feel like I was on my game, and I haven't. Can been. T one thousand get away today. from this one? About an hour ago, he laid down a queen high straight on the river to the boat from Bookie. Can he make another lay down here? In the blender. One if you think he'll call, two if you think he'll fold. Let's hear from you, chat. Alright. Gonna Ooh. Thought he was gonna lay it down. What do you have? Uh I'm either, decision. I'm either way ahead or way behind. Well not way ahead, yeah. You have a lot of push rolls of the king. How about you? What do you have? <laughs> <laughs> I'm ahead. You're ahead? Yeah. He's right. He is ahead. You gonna show? Sure. You have a flush draw, right? Another lay, good lay down from T1000. He was way behind there. Hey guys, Andrew Nimi here, and I just wanted to quickly tell you about my favorite place to play poker in the world, the Lodge Card Club. The Lodge is a social club in Austin, Texas, and it's actually one of the biggest poker rooms anywhere, I mean in the world. It has 80 poker tables available, running both tournaments and cash games. And just because it's one of the biggest, it doesn't mean it's not a friendly place to play. The Lodge prides itself on being both extremely professional as well as one of the friendliest places that I've played anywhere. Every single day, there are lots of cash games to choose from, whether it's No Limit Hold'em or Pot Limit Omaha or the occasional mixed game that you like to play. You can find it at the Lodge, and there's also at least two tournaments that run every single day. And again, those are just the daily offerings. That action can be found every single day. You can check out the full tournament schedule and all these cash game offerings by heading over to our website, thelodgepokerclub.com, or just type in Lodge Poker into Google. You'll find your way there. Hope to see you down at the Lodge. Take care.